Hey guys, what's up? This is Nod Lammers of Invoked 101, and uh, DZeef, this is kind of a response to DZeef, uh, he put out a video that was, what's in my backpack? What is in my backpack? Yu-Gi-Oh! edition, and he challenged any other yu gi tuber to do a response video challenge. He didn't call out any specific names, he just wanted people to start doing it. I guess this is the next meme for the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, and I hope to be... I hope it is, because this is actually kind of fun, I thought about it, I was like, that'd be kind of fun to do. So I'm going to steal that idea from him as well. Um, anyway, I got my backpack right here. This is the backpack I use uh, to go to locals and whatnot and such. So uh, I put a bunch of buttons on it because I really like buttons. I'm actually, hang on, see if I can uh, angle that downwards just a little bit so you can actually see it a bit more. But yeah, um, so yeah, I'm um, just flip the top on this and uh, start pulling stuff out of it. I guess one of those weird pull strings. But uh, I guess I'll go with the first thing. Usually I carry a water bottle. This one's empty. <laughs> uh, but yeah, usually there's a water bottle or two stuffed in my bag because I have to carry it for me and uh, Meow Meow. So that's over there now. Uh, the first thing that probably that I'd carry, that I carry in my bag is my uh, sticker box. This is my sticker deck box. I'll bring it up. This has whatever deck I'm probably maining at the time. Currently it has uh, ABCs in it. Uh, just because that deck is like getting wins. Uh, the bottom of it just has some dice and another button in there, uh, along with like an Autobot Matrix of Leadership. But, uh, and then, uh, as far as the deck goes, this deck box is all is really good. It has uh, some love letters in it, and then it has my uh, Field Center card in there, along with a uh, main extra and side deck, fully sleeved in there. Um, I love this deck box. Um, so th then the next box. Oh man. This, this bag is kind of unwieldy. Uh, the next deck box is, this says, a box of my favorites on the front of it, written in Sharpie. And this is one of the Ultra Pro Dual deck box. I think also having stickers kind of like all over it, um, even like under the little flap. Uh, I think this is one of the better deck boxes it has. This has uh, three decks in it. This has uh, Sub Terrors, Phantasm Spiral. I know you can't really see because I sleeve everything in black. Uh, and then it has Skull Servants in the bottom tray with the red extra. I'll kind of bring that because you can see the uh, decks more right there. Uh, but yeah, that's another box. It just has a bunch of like neat little decks that I play in there. I'm actually going to... There's a there's a box next to me that I'm going to start tossing the stuff I've already pulled out into. Uh, let's go with these. These next two. So these uh, two deck boxes, these are two of the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh uh, flip, flip dual deck boxes. Uh, we'll go with the one with the Dalai Lama on it first, just because this is the one people like more. Uh, so you know, I like stickers. I like to sticker up my stuff. This one has uh, currently has the uh, Invoke deck right here along with Speed Droids in it. Um, I had to unsleeve Invoke because I'm waiting on a, uh, I'm waiting on a few cards for them in the mail, and then I'm waiting on another pack of Eclipse sleeves to re-sleeve them in. Uh, also, I had to take out their hand because uh, I flip the sleeves between uh, ABC and Invoked a lot, so I decided to sleeve the ABC, since that's why I'm playing mostly uh, as a pure deck, uh, into the Eclipse sleeves, and then I ordered another set for the uh, Invoked deck. So yeah. And then uh, this deck box, uh, I think this has Dark Magician in it. No, what? Did the other box had Dark Magician? Okay, so the other box had Dark Magician and Invoked in it. This one has um, a bunch of extra black sleeves, just like... Uh, these boxes are really awkward to like hold up. But then it has the Speed Droid deck in there with the white extra. Uh, I don't... Hang on, let me look at the Dalai Lama one again, because I thought that had a white extra too. No, that's uh, that was Dark Magician, yeah. That has those decks in it, because my buddy, uh, he likes to play the Dark Magician deck a lot. Um, next thing I carry, these actually kind of came unrolled is uh, I carry two mats. This is my first mat. This is the, uh, this was actually my second mat ever. This is the invoked mat that a lot of you guys like. Sorry. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, invoked, the I guess the invoked 101 play mat with the World Championship 2017. Uh, the reason I got this mat was because um, uh, I went to the World Celebration event and the dude at the card store, I was the only guy who showed up. I paid my entrance fee. He didn't give me the packs, which were promised on the site. And then, so I did get two uh, Hobby League Wonder Wands, but that kind of sucked. I got the lanyard, I got another thing, which usually is on my key ring, so it's not in the bag. But, uh, and then I had my aunt, who's a graphic designer, she, uh, she designed me, uh, this mat. 
and had it ordered and made. So that was really rad of her uh, to do for me. But yeah. And then the next mat is, uh, this is Meow Meow, my girlfriend's mat that she uses a lot until we uh, order her a custom one. This is just a blank white BCW mat. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. It has the edging on it, which kind of is like, it sometimes catches cards. But other than that, and it gets dirty a lot. Like, I think, I think the camera makes it look a bit dirty. Yeah, see, there's like a shadow that crosses on there. That actually might just be part of the viewfinder. Um, uh, so, yeah, it's just a blank white mat. Uh, the next thing in my bag, because we're still doing the bag, uh, is, I think that's, oh man, we're reaching the bottom of the ma of the main, of the void. Um, I carry two binders. Uh, I carry my garbage binder, which this is my garbage binder. You can tell it's mine because it has that, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it has a light sketching of the Book of the Law artwork on it to turn it into the Book of the Law from the Invoke deck. And then this is my good binder. You can tell it's good because it's red and white and then it also has a bunch of buttons on it. That's how you know it's good, it has buttons. Uh, but yeah, in here, uh, I'll just kinda like go through my good binder real quick. Um, I'm actually gonna, okay, you know what? Goodbye bag, my bag has fallen. I'm gonna throw that binder right there. Uh, we'll go through, We've got Silver Gadget, Magician's Rod, uh, Ultra and Ulti Plague Spreaders from the same set. Um, Fairy Tale Luna, uh, shots fired. Fairy Tale Luna shots fired at a uh, Virtual Ninja. He's another small YouTuber. Play set of uh, some new cards from Battles of Legend that I pulled. Just some like some random stuff in here, and then it's kind of like here we go. This is a little better. And it's like kind of sorted by spells, traps, and whatnot. You got Spellbook of Judgment in there. Um, some neat stuff. Uh, nothing like super amazing. A Marshling Field that people are like really excited about. Karma Cut, uh, Royal Decree, which is going to be relevant soon, Chain Material, which I ordered forever ago, Macro Cosmos, which I should probably start citing or something, um, Hollow, Reckless Greed, just some neat stuff, some Synchro Monsters. I've been trying to collect all the Signer Dragons, so I got like Secret Rare, uh, Power Tool Dragon, along with uh, the Gold Secret, I think it's a Gold Secret, uh, Power Tool Mecha Dragon, which is the anime version, uh, I got my super rare Stardust, which needs to be a secret, and then I need to get a Stardust Spark. He, Stardust is the only one I'm really missing. And then I have a secret rare Blackwing Dragon and uh, Black Feather Rage Dragon. Uh, I need a new Ancient Fairy. I need like an ultra rare to replace the secret in my deck. But then I also have a Ancient Pixie as a secret, gold secret. Um, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, I need a secret rare Red Dragon Archfiend. And then uh, I think that was it. And then you got my Xyz monsters right here, Tsukiyomi, just some some random stuff. My uh, Topo Logic Bomber Dragon. But yeah, that's the good binder. Uh, just the Moja, because I like Moja. Uh, just some neat stuff. Oh, the Seraphia that I'm going to send to uh, Alpha Penguin Soldier later. And then you got my trash binder, which I love saying that this is my trash binder, because half the time people will go like, oh, all right, it's the trash binder. And then they open it, and they're like, oh, there's a Dante and a Beatrice, and then there's just a Burning Abyss core for the first few pages, so, uh, yeah, uh, some F.A., some Nolan Void, some F.A. guys, um, nothing really interesting, some more Synchro Monsters, just because, um, they're not super great, Brio's in here, um, some Xyz Monsters, some of these Xyz Monsters are kind of neat, but nothing, like, super amazing, uh, Totem Bird's in here, but that's Totem Bird, uh, and Lightning Chidori's in here, too, um, some Fusion Monsters, Fright for Sabretooth is in here, which, um, I was looking for Fright for Sabretooths, and then I didn't even think to check my binder. Another copy of Plague Spreader Zombie. Um, Rescue Cat from the uh, one set. And then back here, you have my... Uh, my. I need to uh, put the Ancient Stone in a sleeve, too, and put a 25-cent sticker on him, because you got my 50-cent alternative and my 50-cent Sage, and I want a 50-cent uh, that. But yeah, that's my Blue Eyes core, kind of, in the back of the binder which I think is really funny. And it, it keeps going too, there's a little there's a little bit more. And then uh, at the back of the trash binder, you got my uh, really expensive U-Bells, uh, for no, because I hate myself. You got my, uh, you got uh, my buddy Devin's God cards, you got his obelisk and his raw, which is down there, and then you got my movie one from when I saw the movie. Gofu, Ulti, Dasher, some classic cards along with one, along with a Hollow Hollow. we actually have a place out of those now. Um, and then right here, we have all the sign cards, which uh, I'll kind of stand up to get that. You got uh, James, James the Great. You got, this is uh, Meow Meow. 
Uh, this guy right here is Grayson. This is my buddy Gorov. Uh, what's this one? This is my friend Cameron. This is my buddy Dan. He really likes Star Wars. This is Gen uh, from Gen's World. This is my friend Jake. Can't really tell his signatures on there. And then there's another page on the back that has a Pendulum, a Pendulum Mystic, also known as Ace, Alpha Penguin Soldier, and then my cousin uh, Chase, who uh, wants to do uh, baseball. So that's uh, those are my binders. Uh, at least, like, kind of what's in there. I think. Oh, this is something I recently started carrying. Uh, or I'm gonna start carrying this around, and it kind of ties into another item. This is a deck box with some brown sleeves. Uh, brown sleeves from uh, I got these from Pendulum Mystic in the Subterra video. I actually re sleeved the uh, Subterra stuff, and it also has a couple cards in here. I need to get just a bunch of Alistair the Invokers, but it just has some cards that uh, I'd be that I'm like okay with signing. Uh, so it has, of course, it has Alistair right there uh, as a super rare this time, not as one of the secrets. Uh, Evil Swarm Exit Tonight. Uh, White Dustin, uh, and then two copies of Senate Switch, because I, I think Senate Switch is really funny. Uh, I need to get just a bunch of common Dark Arm Dragons to keep in here, along with just a bunch of Alistairs, so that way I can sign the Dark Arms and the Alistairs. Uh, but yeah, that's that deck box. Um, there's a pocket right there, you can see the zipper. And inside this pocket, this has the... Uh, oh, this has... Okay, I didn't know these were in here. The, oh, yeah, 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 I remember these. Okay, okay. So this has, uh, what this has is it has the, what people were calling the field centers. It has the dual links, two, two dual links tokens, I guess. And then it has uh, my lucky Alistair, which is the perfect secret rare Alistair that I made. Uh, this Alistair came out amazingly. And this is the perfect secret rare Alistair. This is the lucky Alistair. And I remember why he's in there. Um, but yeah, that Alistair is so pretty and he came out so great. Um... I'm actually just going to kind of put those... Oh my god! I'm just going to put them back in the thing. Uh, and then the other thing I keep in here is uh, the I some of the items I won. Not won, but I got from the World Championship 2017 event, celebration event. This is my, uh, the, I guess the life point keeper, the pad, and then I got a 2017 pen. I just keep these in here because I started using this more, so like, uh, this was for math for how to do um, the invoke deck, and this was a page that I used the other day at Locals. Uh, for actual games, um, so yeah, uh, keep that in there, I think that's it for the void pocket, and, uh, then we have the front pocket, which, uh, also usually in my bag I will carry my tripod and camera, so, but I need that to record, so that's why it's not in here, um, and then in this front pocket we have a sharpie to sign cards with, or to have people sign cards of mine or whatever. And then we have my uh, fisherman's tool. This is because uh, the handle that turns to uh, tighten up one of the spots on my uh, tripod snapped off. But there's a screw there. And so I needed a screwdriver I could carry with me. So I just carry this uh, fisherman's tool because it has a little screwdriver uh, nip on it. So yeah. So that way I can tighten and adjust my uh, tripod. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the uh, what's in my backpack. Again... This is a little thing that DZ set up. He wants other Yugi tubers to do this. So, uh, yeah, go ahead, uh, comment a link below, I guess, if you do a video to this, and I'll be putting a link to this under DZ's video. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.